so um, the video you're about to see today is something that we shot um, about, what, two, three hours ago. Uh, there's a young boy called Marcus. You might remember I went to a Schaumbrook event. He's a young boy, he had one arm, and um, he sat in my car. Had a, um, he revved the car. So I, he wanted to sit in my car, he wanted to meet me. Um, I'm an ambassador for Rays of Sunshine. Um, that's a charity that grants wishes to terminal children. Terminal children means that child is gonna pass away in the near future because they've got an illness that can't be cured. And Marcus was the boy that I met at Schaumbrook events. And um, Jane, who's the CEO of Rays of Sunshine, said to me, would you meet him? Would you have a picture with him? Which I did. He sat in my car, he was a lovely boy, really bubbly. Um, and then two weeks later, I got a phone call from Jane who told me he passed away, uh, which, which was a massive shock um, because I spent time with him, I got to know him, I got to meet him and we done an auction to go for a drive in my car and um, we raised a lot of money and one of the bids was a thousand pounds for him to go for a drive in my car which we never managed to make happen, he was supposed to come to the Animize <laughs> and he never, um, never made it. His parents asked us, they said he was a massive fan of mine and um, they said, would you mind wrapping the coffin? We've never done anything like this before. And I'll be honest, I got Nika Mark's permission because they had to wrap it and I asked them would they mind, they said they didn't mind. And we wrapped it for his parents and for him because that's what he would have wanted, that's what he asked for. He specifically asked for the chrome blue, which was Mark's colour because um, that was like his favourite colour, which we done. It was so, so difficult, it was so emotional. Jane from Razor Sunshine contacted us and said, uh, the parents asked if we would do it. I couldn't say no. First time we've ever done anything like this. Um, the coffin is so small. Um, Sorry. So we're gonna wrap it in chrome blue for um for little Marcus. So yeah, Nico Mark will wrap this now and then um you'll see the end. But yeah, I'll let Nico Mark wrap it. We saw Marcus at Shambrick. Um, he was so happy, especially when he went to Yanis car. All I remember, his smile was priced at that time. Nico and I are so blessed to be able to work on his coffin. Yeah, we're so grateful that we're going to work on Marcus' coffin, especially in Mark's color for showing love for him. Probably this is the saddest day in Yanis. We've shot this video for his parents. Um, and if you guys are watching this video at home, it means his parents have given us the okay to put it out because we made it for them, not, not for anyone else. And just for them to see the process of, of how it happened. I've got two kids, um, 11 and seven. He was born in 2005. My eldest son, Andres, was born in 2006. So they're very similar ages. You're not supposed to bury your kids. The kids are supposed to bury their parents. So, um, and to be honest, it, it really affected my unit. Everyone in the unit were in pieces. We used to see in cars, you don't see a coffin coming out of a van in there to be wrapped. That's, it's not, yes. Puts things into perspective, I think. So, I've composed myself, sorry about that earlier. Uh, Nico Marker, absolute ledges for wrapping this. They're going to come and collect it now and his funeral is in a couple of weeks time. So Jane is from Razor Sunshine. Um, so it's done. Hopefully the parents will be happy and Marcus will be looking down and it's the colour that you wanted, uh, the chrome blue. Hi, I'm Jane from Rays of Sunshine. Uh, I first met Marcus uh, when he came to a Ferrari day with us at Silverstone um, and he told me what a huge fan he was of Yanis and I said well 
great news, you can come and meet him because we're doing an event with him next week. So Marcus came um, to the event and met Yanni, went in his car, revved it with him. Yanni was, as ever, fantastic with him. At the event, someone very kindly auctioned off for Yanni to take people around in his car and someone bought it for Marcus. So um, that was the plan. Um, sadly, it didn't go to plan. Hi Yanni, just at Lego Land with Marcus. He is one of the boys who's coming in your car for 10 minutes and they'd like to come to your garage. So let me know when we can arrange it. <laughs> Hi Marcus, how you doing? It's Yanni from Yanomize. I hope you're well. Um, you're more than welcome to come down whenever you want. Jane, just touch base with me. Let me know what day it is. I'll make sure I bring the Lambo in and then we'll go for a drive, Marcus. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Marcus's parents, Joanna and Glenn, asked if Yanni would do them the honour of wrapping his coffin. It's not a usual request for Rays of Sunshine. We're here to bring sunshine into the lives of seriously and terminally ill children. But we couldn't say no to them. They're a lovely family. And we knew that Marcus would, would really like that. So we asked Yanni, and as ever, he didn't hesitate. As an ambassador of Rays of Sunshine, he is fantastic for us in so many ways. Not just being an ambassador, but fundraising, and asking him and his team to do something like this, it's, um, it takes something out of you, because it's not a norm. And, um, but they've done a fantastic job, and I think Marcus will be smiling down from wherever he is. And I know that Joanna and Glenn, it will give them a little smile um, at such a terrible time in their lives. So thank you to Yanni and your amazing team. Thank you. Life is not easy. Life's difficult and it's all going well having nice things and, and fancy cars and money and enjoying life. But we've got a young boy that lost his life. And his parents will never be the same again. Neither will his friends, neither will his family. And if you've got a mum or you've got a dad or a grandma or granddad, give them a hug. Tell them you love them because this is not, this is not nice. And Razor Sunshine is a charity that I'm an ambassador of, so I grant wishes for terminally ill children on a regular basis. I've done it before for Amelia and the pink Lamborghini, and she also passed away. I know when I meet these children, I know they're gonna die soon. And it's the hardest thing in the world. It's not nice. So be nice to people. And, and that's it.